Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are doing an Insta by Cozy Mystery Authors video. This is inspired by Intentionally Bookish Spencer. Her channel is amazing. I will link her original video and her channel down below for you. These are basically cozy mystery authors that I adore, that I will basically instantaneously buy a book. Like it's gonna be it's like it's a, it's a love affair like I love these authors so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the first one so the first one is Paige Shelton she writes some amazing cozy mysteries I especially love her Scottish bookshop mystery series this is book six in the series the stolen letter it's fantastic if you like it's set in Scotland with an American Delaney who has moved out there to work in this like eccentric quirky bookshop with this owner named Edwin who is like fabulously wealthy and has all these like interesting book related artifacts and things that she gets to pour over and there's a lot of like ancient like manuscripts and tapestries and maps and like a lot of historical elements that are kind of tied into the mysteries which I really like if you love a bookish mystery you'll love this she has another three book series called a dangerous type mystery series this is book two Bookman Dead Style. I actually have book three on its way to me right now, but I've read book one and two in the series and they are also both really good. This one is set in Utah, Star City, and it's based in a typewriter store. So again, she has a very like kind of bookish theme to her cozies so far. I'm really enjoying them. If you like just the way she writes, it's really beautiful. I feel like especially like her conversations between characters are very believable, very like easy on the ears like they really just read well basically but I love the settings for these the the coziness the mysteries always have some interesting like history tied in like one of the mysteries in this series involved like mines a different one involved and this one has has like involved like royalty there's been like Robert Burns poems like there's all these different cool themes so I really love her books for those reasons especially so definitely recommend these. I've read every book in this series and I'm about to finish this series. Love them. Absolutely couldn't recommend them more. So another author I've been falling in love with this year who I'm I'm now on book like five or something in the series is the Noodle Shop Mystery Series by Vivian Chien. I have the first three books which my sister got me for my birthday and since then I've been checking them out from the library and wow these books are really really fun. The first book I gave a three and a half star rating but everything since then has been like a four four and a half star rating. Really solid cozy mystery series. Our main character Lana Lee works in her family's noodle shop and it's which is located in a place called Asia Village which is basically a themed like shopping plaza with all sorts of Asian restaurants like an Asian bar, Asian shops, grocery store, there's like a CD movie shop like anything you can imagine basically and so various murders occur the first one happens actually within like the family restaurant the other ones throughout the plaza the most recent one I just read was book four and it happened they were doing like a food truck event in Cleveland Ohio where they're based and I'm reading the fifth book right now and that's actually taking part of their catering gig like it took place at one of their clients homes so this is a really fun series what I like about this is the theme is just incredibly fun I love the character Lana she's a very believable character she's got a lot of you know she's got her flaws but she's you know good natured at heart really cares about her family there's a lot of family like centric content in these so if you enjoy like a family driven cozy mystery I think you'd really like these but the writing is just so easy I always feel like I know exactly where I'm at the settings are very well described the like characters are fleshed out well enough that I feel like I have a good idea of the other family members, the other employees at the noodle shop, and anyone else who's involved. I just really like this and I'd say like about half the time I've guessed who's done it, the other half I've been really surprised. So it's a good mixture of like you can solve it if you want but it's a really good mixture. I really recommend this series. I, I don't know if she's written anything else. I don't think she has but I'm definitely gonna look for more from her because she's become an insta buy, insta read kind of author for me. Next I have Winnie Archer. She, I think I have one more here. I have two of her books from the Bread Shop Mystery series. I have read the first three in the series so far and they've all been four or five stars for me and I have four, book four and five on the way actually now. Fantastic. I feel like I don't hear anything about her and I don't know why. Um, this is the only series that she has out that I'm aware of. I think it's about seven or eight books in right now. The Bread Shop series features our main character Ivy who is a redheaded photographer, a uh, fr freelancing photographer and bread shop assistant at this bread shop and one, this will make you so hungry. The 
it'll make you incredibly hungry. The descriptions of bread in this are so mouthwatering. You'll be incredibly hungry for sure. The setting is very charming. And what I love most about this is the multi-generation relationships in this. So you have Ivy and her 80-something-year-old friend, Miss Branford. You have her relationship with the uh, lady who owns the bread shop as well as her sisters. It's a family-owned bread shop and there just are so many lovely female friendships and relationships in this and I love it. I absolutely love it. The mysteries have always been really good. This book shocked me out of my mind. It was a little bit darker on the cozy mystery side, still cozy for sure, but definitely slightly darker. This one had a really good twist to it. Um, this one I recently finished, really enjoyed it, and there was also an adorable pug, so if you you know, are into <laughs> into the um, animal aspect. There are some really cute little pug moments in this, but I love this. This town is charming. The characters are charming. I'm just falling more and more in love with the characters as I go along with it. So Winnie Archer has made it to my Insta buy and like just, I'm on her list, <laughs> basically. I love it. So another one I highly recommend. If you love historical fictions, you've got to check out Reese Bowen. If you have not heard of her already, let me be the first to tell you incredible. She has two primary, two like cozy mystery historical fiction series. She has the Royal Spinus series, which this is the first three books in the series, so it is a, a set. Um, it includes her Royal Spinus, a Royal Pain, and Royal Flush. I have read all of the books in the series up to date, and there's at least 16 or something in this series. She also has the Molly Murphy series, which takes place in the very early 1900s with an Irish immigrant named Molly Murphy, who immigrants to New York, and it follows her trying to start her own detective agency and just throwing different different stereotypes at the time about women and like different limitations they had. So she kind of, you know, takes it upon herself, decides she wants to be a detective anyways, and it's very interesting. Later on, she has a family, and there's just I just love Molly. Like she is, it's more character driven. I would say this one's a little bit more mystery driven. I would, I feel like um, this one involves Lady Georgiana or Georgie, who is like 34th or something in line for the English throne. You know, she's not going anywhere in terms of like serious royalty, but she's expected to live a certain lifestyle, but isn't provided with the financial means to really do so. So the first like several books in this involve her taking on different odd jobs, like being a maid, which would be very frowned upon for someone of her social status. So she has to do it in secret and she ends up stumbling into different murders and stuff and having to clear the murder um, and solve it before people find out that she was there because of her social status and how that would like look poorly on her reputation. Later on throughout the series, she actually gets called upon by like the English Queen and different royals to help with different like royal suspicions and like assassination plots and if you like English history this is in the 1930s roughly I think you'll really like this it's highly enjoyable I love I love Georgie if I had to pick between the two series this one is my favorite by just a hair but just because I really love Georgie and I love the time and it's just novel to me because I've you know I, I'm an American so it's it's interesting to read about a different country but Molly Murphy is equally as interesting and I I recently the, the last book that came out was I will put a picture of the one I read recently on screen it was fabulous I I was floored but Reese Bowen if you really like historical fiction but you like your mysteries to remain cozy these are some really excellent books I also have her 12 Clues of Christmas, which is part of the Royal Spinus series, and this is one of the best Christmas cozies I've ever read. It actually involves 12 different clues, like it really goes through the clues and it's incredible. Like it feels Agatha Christie-esque and how it pulls everything together. It was incredible. I loved it. Very fun. So these are absolutely just some of the most fun historical fiction mysteries I've ever read, while still maintaining like some historical accuracy and like really having great mysteries, characters, all of it. So I highly recommend. She's one of the first historical fiction authors that I just fell in love with and I love it. I'm, a, I'm definitely a loyal a loyal reader to Reese Bowen. Uh, a recent favorite of mine, I've only read, she's only had two books come out, but I am so sold on her writing I had to include her and that is Mia P. Manansala. I've checked out her two books from the library so far so I don't have a physical copy, but these are insta reads for me, insta, like if I couldn't get them in the library I would instantly go out and buy them. And her books are Arsenic and Adobo and Homicide and Halo Halo. Fantastic. They center around our main character. Lila, who is a Filipino-American who works in her family's restaurant, and these are fantastic. They're a little bit on the darker side for a cozy, however, they still remain 
in the cozy genre, nothing too graphic or too heavy overall. I love these for the family-centric plot lines. They typically have a lot of family involvement. The family is just so delightful in these. I just love I just love that element. The mysteries in this series tend to be a little more complex than like your average cozy mystery, so I really enjoy that. I feel like they're a little bit more complex, like just a little bit more thought maybe put into them. They're what I'm saying essentially there's nothing, you know, wrong with any type of cozy, but they're a little bit on the heavier, more complex side of cozies, because some of them are a little bit more light and lighthearted, more humorous, which depending on what you're looking for, I feel like sometimes it's I like I like both personally, but this is one that's a little bit on the heavier, more complex, a little more um, convoluted side. I feel like there's some really interesting mysteries in this. There's been some really emotionally hard-hitting moments in this series, so I highly recommend it. I cannot wait for the third book that's coming out in October. I already have it on hold with my library, so I will be getting my hands on that as soon as possible, but I couldn't make this list without including her. She's the only one I put on here where I've read less than like four or five of her books. But I love it so much. It's so good. So absolutely check me up, Man and Sala out. I absolutely am just such a fan of this series. It's incredible. Next, I highly recommend the Cupcake Bakery Mystery Series by Jen McKinley. This is one of the series that got me into cozy mysteries originally, and since then I've also read Jen McKinley's Library Lovers Mystery Series, which is also incredible, and I might love that one even just a hair more. It's very hard. I love both of them. This one takes place in Scottsdale, Arizona. The other one takes place in like a the city. Like I don't think it's I don't know if it's a real location, but it's like a Cape Cod, like East Coast, like on the sea a town, and it's just beautiful. So depending on what you're in the mood for, but this this series is incredible. I've read like eight or so books into the Library Lovers Mystery Series. I read all but two of the Cupcake Bakery Mystery Series that I'm working on right now because I purchased the ones my library didn't have, and I'm working on them. But the covers are just incredible. Jen McKinley, her characters are what really drive the mysteries. They are just so incredibly fleshed out. I love the development they have throughout the books. Like some cozy mystery characters can remain very static over time. Jen McKinley really develops her characters. They really grow as people. You see their flaws. You see them work through different life issues, and I really enjoy that. The mysteries are always very interesting and well thought out. Not extremely easy to solve. I feel like there's some good definitely some good like red herrings and things that she throws in there and the themes of the library lover and the cupcake bakery mysteries are just two of my favorites I can't get better than like a baked goods or a bookish cozy mystery those are just those are up there in my favorites so I love Jen McKinley I know she also has a hat shop mystery series which I really want to check out as well so absolutely recommend if you have not read Jen McKinley check out either of her series cupcake bakery is in Scott Scottsdale Arizona the other one is in like an east coast ocean town and it's just beautiful. I, I can't recommend enough. The characters truly develop, especially in the Library Lovers Mystery Series. I've had, I like, I just finished a book and I put it on screen and I nearly cried at the end of one. Like I was tearing up because one of the characters had a really great character development moment that I've been watching and waiting for for like several books and it happened finally and I was just tearing up and it, like, it's rare that I get that attached to characters. So I definitely love that. Another insta buy author for me is Ellie Alexander with her Bake Shop Mystery Series. I know she has one other mystery series that I haven't read yet. I think it's like the Sloan Kloss Mystery Series. That one I'm definitely planning on reading. But her Bake Shop Mystery Series is incredible. It takes place with our main character, Jules, and she operates the Tort Bake Shop, which is her family family's bake shop in Ashland, Oregon. If you're looking for the best setting Ever, this might be it. Ashland, Oregon, it's beautiful. It has all the seasons. It has a Shakespearean theme. They do lots of Shakespeare events in town. So lots of the characters have Shakespearean references. They put like Shakespeare quotes in the bakery. They have like Shakespeare festivals and drama and theater. It's a very tourist heavy area. It's It's gotta be like my favorite setting for a cozy mystery, honestly. This series has like the best setting ever. It's so beautiful. Every time I open the pages, I feel like I'm back home, like I'm back at a familiar place that I've had a lot of good memories with. Jules is a really fun character, very realistic, spunky, just fun character. I love her relationship with her mom in this. There's a fun element with that. The other employees that work in the shop are all like young adults or like in their late teens and they all have very interesting personalities that are fleshed out and they get their own storylines and subplots, which I love. And her friend Lance is this very 
dramatic like theater director in town and he is a blast absolutely hilarious fun amazing so the mysteries are great the characters are great the setting is magical I couldn't recommend them more I'm like on book nine or something right now and I'm just absolutely eating it up and last but certainly not least we have Nancy J. Cohen she's not as talked about as some others but she wrote the Bad Hair Day mystery series which is still coming out it looks like this is the cookbook from the series otherwise I've checked out most of the series from my library I need to get my hands on the last few books because I haven't had that at my library but I love this series it takes place in Florida with our main character Marla she is a hairstylist and she just gets on a bunch of different hijinks where she goes to, you know, beauty fairs or has people die in her salon or just, you know, she opens a spa and someone dies at the table. Like, just all these crazy things. Um, what I like is that Nancy J. Cohen has really given her a very fleshed out past and she really debates on characters like past mistakes, you know, and how does that affect them today? Are they still good or bad people or how is that like these how have these mistakes basically affected them in their present being so I really like that our main character in this has like flaws and embarrassing mistakes in her past and throughout the series you learn more about them and I love learning about her business business and her like business savvy nature really really interesting so I highly recommend the bad hair day mystery series it's just really entertaining a very summery feeling mystery because of the Florida setting so if you're looking for kind of a tropical Florida summary mystery with some fun like beauty elements some like fun history she has some really interesting historical points that she'll like add into the mysteries at points which I really like and I just love her character so highly recommend that that is the end of my list today thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video please let me know down below what are your favorite insta buy must read cozy mystery authors that you just immediately without even looking at the description are purchasing basically let me know what that is for you I'd love to hear your recommendations and I'll see you guys in my next one bye